G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I wanted to run you through a quick video on how to enable multi-factor authentication inside of Office 365. So if we're in the Office 365 or it's Microsoft 365 now, admin portal, go into the users section and we'll go to active users. So at the top of the screen, you have this button here, multi-factor authentication. You then click it find the, you can see here, the user's status for multi-factor authentication, whether they've got it enabled or disabled. So here you can see all of mine are disabled. And I go down to my little test user, not test user, but this Megan one. You can see here I've got it enforced on there. So if I tick Megan and go enable and enable multi-factor authentication, now, next time Megan goes to log in, she's going to need to enter in her multi-factor authentication code. So if I go, we'll go to portal.office and log in as Megan. Uh, what's her name? Megan B. And just chuck in her password. And now you'll see there's more information required. So this is what's going to happen after you enable the multi-factor authentication. When the user goes to log in, they're going to need to add in multi-factor authentication. So you can pick to do the phone or the mobile app. And we're going to use an authentication phone. So this will send us a text message. And if I put in the phone number, And then what will happen is I will get a text message on my phone with a code. Verify. And if I wanted to use an app password for something, it gives you an app password. You can add more app passwords down the track. Hit next. Done. So now I have multi-factor authentication enabled on this user. And you can do more users just by ticking them so you can do a few at once if you want to or do them all and just click enable obviously you need them all to be enabled but if we cancel that tick the ones that are disabled hit enable that will enable multi-factor authentication on their accounts anyway guys don't forget like and subscribe to see more and I'll see you next time